Project Elixir is here and the version which we are going to talk about in this video is version 3.12. With this new update, we got some new changes and there are many new things introduced in the free version. In case you don't know, Project Elixir have two versions. If you are their Patreon user, you have early access to all the builds and also some extra customizations are available for you. But in case for public, if you are not using that option, you have some free options, quite a lot of good options or customizations but with this new update there are many more things added firstly parallel space this is one of the features which is already introduced in this case so if you are one of the users who use parallel space on a device in any other custom room don't worry parallel space is also available in project elixir 2 which simply helps you to create multiple instances of that particular app and you can create up to five parallel space things i guess i'm not sure but i think so if you move on to the security options in more security settings you will find app locker in case you want to change the default launcher you are not satisfied with the default launcher for any reason you can still use app locker and that is one of the advantages like in a lot of custom rooms we have app locker available integrated in that default launcher so in that case things might be difficult for you to change but in this case that's one of the advantages we also have some lock screen sorry law we also have some clock customizations available in this in this case you can simply adjust some docks and clock settings sorry clock status bar clock settings etc but if we move on to the background chip here comes some great things we have the option to enable or disable some things in the background as you can see clock status bar clock and we have some chip options available and this thing was actually available in iconify magisk module in this case all these things are free also clock fonts also options are available we have clock fonts options so if you want to customize any of these fonts you can do that very easily we also have some brightness slider customizations available in this case this option is also present in iconify magisk module and i guess it was already present for the patreon user but if you are not that one if you're using free version of project elixir from a long time this thing was not available previously on all the previous updates but now it's finally available you have the option to do that minimal thumb etc etc this is one of my favorite which i use but we have many other options available for you to customize in this update, we also have the data icon style options available. Of course, these options are available in many other custom rooms and a lot of custom rooms are providing you these features. So literally nothing new, but in the terms of Project Elixir, because we are talking or comparing it with their previous update, this update brings you a lot of new things. A lot of new changes are introduced. If I move on to the quick settings header, you can see the quick settings header also have some customizations. We have approximately of 75 quick setting header images available, which is so amazing. If you use this thing on a device, you can do that very easily. We also have the option to adjust the quick settings image height, opacity level, fade level, etc. etc. is what everything you can customize. There are many more things to do so. So if you install this custom home and explore the quick settings customizations, you might be able to do a lot more things with that. These are some amazing things available. We also have some toast animations. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show you the preview of these toast animation because there's no preview option available. So whenever you receive any toast message, you also have the option to customize that thing that how or basically the animation when the toast message will arrive, how the animation will look like. There are many options available for you to customize. We also have the new settings UI, by the way. If you move on to the settings UI, you might find that status bar or basically settings header greeting message is a bit changed. The default wallpaper is changed. Some things which are available in the default launcher are quite good. Some things are improved. Some bugs are fixed. Of course, depends upon which device you're using. But this could be one of the best updates of Project Elixir so far because in previous updates, things were good. But now, so much improved. As Android 14 is coming very, very soon, we are talking about Android 14 stable version. It's coming very, very soon, basically in a few days. Let's see when they will bring you Android 14 based custom room or this update. I will let you know whenever the update is available and make sure to subscribe this channel because if you subscribe, then you will get to know that when the update is coming. This is it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share this and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.